Hey, my sense is calling the game because of rain, either early or late or not at all, all three of those puts the Red Sox in a no-win situation. As you can imagine, today's theme is, hey, I bought four tickets for my wife and two kids for last night, and we are unavailable for a day game today. Yeah, I understand that is a problem. The uh, the rain is obviously something we can't control. There's never a really good solution. Uh, we've uh, we simply tried to uh, to schedule it as close to the game as possible. So maybe some of the people who've come from a uh, longer distance might be able to stay, might be able to uh, to partake of it this afternoon. But it's uh, it, it's a it's an unsatisfying situation, no matter how you look at it. I'm not going to ask you about why the day night doubleheader. I think John Farrell addressed that the 37 days and 37 games. But I am going to ask you this, and this has sort of been my crusade. Maybe you can explain it to me because nobody else has. Does the schedule maker for Major League Baseball take into account that it might be better for northern teams, when possible, to play southern teams in April? And then instead of, as an example, the Rays being here now, uh, the Red Sox would be in Tampa. And then at the end of May, Tampa would be here in Boston. Do they try to do that, Larry? The short answer is they say they try. Uh, in my experience, it has been an insufficient effort. I think that there, uh, there there was at one time an effort to have a warm weather mm. and dome uh, schedule so the teams with warm weather sites or dome facilities had a heavier home schedule in the month of April. Mm. Uh, as it uh, apparently it didn't work out particularly well that year there was a lot of uh, a lot of wet, uh, bad weather in May and uh and in April wasn't so bad and we uh seem to uh, leave that uh schedule behind that schedule bias behind us when we probably should have uh, continued it uh uh again uh, but but I do think they try to take it into consideration I just think that there should be a a larger presumption in sure. favor of that kind of warm weather scheduling I don't know why you can't just build a nice ballpark like the Rays have down there and say <laughs> yeah that's a real joy that be that go over big up here hey speaking of the Rays they apparently uh aren't happy with this doubleheader. Do you check with them at all? I mean, I know you don't have to, but do you run it by them before you? Uh, yeah, yeah. We we have a, a little organization we call the Rain Trust. Not the Brain Trust, but the Rain Trust. And there are four or five of us who uh, confer uh, with our private weather service, who confer with uh, Major League Baseball, uh, who talk to the uh, to the opposing team. And, uh, yes, there was uh, there was uh, plenty of uh, of. of dialogue that, that took place uh, uh, yesterday, uh, but uh, apparently they had a, uh, a preference for a game in late September, uh, but uh, the problem with that is we've been able over the last 12 years to get every game in. We've been able to play 81 home games, which is quite remarkable really? given, the, uh, given the weather we have here. We've been able to play 81 home games every year, in part because of the, uh, the rain trust and the way we've been able to uh, uh, reschedule games and work games in. And if we had uh, uh, waited until late September and had uh, rain again at that point, uh, it, there's a, a much more likely probability that we would miss a game or two, and they matter in the standings, and, uh, and of course, there are substantial uh, financial ramifications as well. So our policy and our preferred practice is to try to get them in uh, sooner rather than later. For more, visit weei.com slash video.